Hello everyone, this is Colin on the ASA League channel, and I rejoin you two and a half days after the fact, and sign-ups for the Penzl Pro Series have pretty much come to an end. We are still finalizing a few final things, such as um, drivers who have reserves. We're just waiting for them to sign up, as well as just a few more, like some drivers still need a number for their cars, and everything like that. We're going to go over that just a little bit later, but I would like to also announce that I am going to change a little bit of of the rules in the Copyright Amateur Series. So, um, And I did this because going into the Copyright Amateur Series signups, I was not really prepared for how they were going to play out. Like the Pencil Pro Series, this is the fourth time for me doing them, and I've kind of come to know how everything's going to play out. But for the Copyright Amateur Series, I came in expecting like what we had last year with just a bunch of brand new drivers signing up. But um, we had a bunch of brand new drivers sign up, but as well as some other old returning drivers, and some did not get their way into the championship 18, the 18 full-time spots that will start every race. And um, there were a few drivers that arguably definitely should have been a part of the 18, but had to be kicked out because there's a limit, and we can only accept so many people. Um, and so that's why I am announcing that the Copyright Amateur Series is going to have a second trophy um, at the end of the season. And that is going to be called the Amateur Award Trophy. And the Amateur Award Trophy is going to be awarded to everybody, um, or at least it will be the winner of everybody who is not racing for the championship trophy for the Copyright Amateur Series title. Um... So what I'm meaning by this is that everybody who runs part-time will have something to be chasing in the near distant future instead of just trying to go for experience. And this is something that a lot of people wanted last season, but I just didn't do because I kind of felt like that we had 18 drivers and those 18 were going to be the people that we were going to be rooting for to see who was going to win the, um, the championship at the end of the year and the rest of the people were just there to gain experience so they could move up to full time next season but obviously like we like i said um signups are not very forgiving when it comes to the fact that maybe you're not here on the day of signups you just miss it i know a bunch of people that were planned to come and sign up but they ended up missing it because they just didn't realize signups were happening so ended up missing the cut so I, I'm trying to do this to give those guys a chance at racing for something like a title as well as well as everybody who is a rookie in this series and doesn't want to just go out and try to qualify for wins um, I feel like it's definitely a well-deserved change and um, I'll explain a little more in the paint video I just decided on this today and um, the point system is going to be run the exact same way um, there is going they you're this is not meaning that these drivers are gonna have their own like um, race each weekend they're still gonna have to go through qualifying and there's only gonna be 10 spots each weekend um, unless it's a super speedway where there's 14 but the copper and amateur series will have two at the same time two trophies up for grabs just like how in the pencil pro series we have the championship the pencil championship trophy at the end of the year um, most recently awarded to Michael Jones. There's also the Rookie of the Year Championship for the highest finishing rookie, like Cole Baker. We saw um, that will be the that will pretty much be the case for the Copyright Amateur Series. It's basically a Rookie of the Year Championship trophy, but with just a couple different rules. Like I said, um, this is not completely finished yet. I got to finalize some of the things, but I thought you guys might really want to hear this. And um, for for you guys who were thinking like, geez, I completely screwed up. Um, all of this, all of my last season's experience just wasted because I'm going to be part-time once again. Don't worry, there's something for you to be racing at and something for you to gain more acknowledgement so that once season five comes around, you'll be able to get into a full-time ride for sure. Um, anyways, but before I end this video, that was my main main announcement. I also want to talk about the Penzl Pro Series. We have finished signups, and um, as you can see here, we have 48 drivers. I decided to keep it at 48 again this year rather than, four, than 50. I don't believe I actually mentioned that in the video. But yes, the um, field is going to be 48 again for this season. So as you see here, we have all the drivers. And these text documents are just um, your driver templates. I haven't done anything such as like sponsor sponsor titles yet or anything like that. Um, 
that will all be coming very shortly. There is going to be a paints video for the Pencil Pro series coming up here pretty soon as well. The Copyright Ninja series will take a little bit longer because we are not done with signups yet. And in reality, we are never really done with Copyright Ninja series signups. Um, people can sign up at any time throughout the year to gain experience. Most likely they won't be racing full time next season, but they will be um, at least gaining experience and showing what they can do um, in for the coming seasons. So as you see here, if there's um, anything that you see that's out of place, um, let me know and I'll be happy to change it. One of the things I'd like to point out, Eric Willis and Ryan Kendall, I never, I really haven't gotten to figure out who's racing which number. Um, I used to have Ryan Kendall in the 99 and Eric Willis in the 17, but I changed them because I think that's what the owner wanted. Um, please clarify that for me. Otherwise, this is how they're going to be for the time being. And then there's also John Gilbert up here in the double zero car. He is not racing the double zero. This is just a placeholder. He is currently still picking his number. And I think that's it. So that's your Pencil Pro Series drivers. And just f just to throw these guys in, here is the Copperhead Amateur Series drivers. Um, a little bit more. We, st we have a pretty good f showing here. Um, I haven't actually gone through here and sifted out some of the drivers that shouldn't be here yet. So this list is a rough draft, but if you did not see your name on here, please ask me, and I'll make sure to get that fixed right away. Um, this is also in order of when you guys signed up. So... Actually, I think Colin, it, right around here, I was kind of just plugging people in because um, I wasn't actually active right when signups went live. I had to leave and then came back an hour later, so I just started plugging in people randomly. But I'll make sure to go back and make sure that everybody is in the same place, like where they should be in order of when they signed up. Because obviously, as you know, um, rankings are determined by when you sign up, so that is a huge factor, and I'm going to make sure I have that exactly right. So, I'm um, obviously completely a rough draft, but if you don't see your name up here, make sure to contact me, and I'll be able to put you here really soon. Obviously, outside of this video, you won't be able to see these because this is my own personal in my file explorer, but things are going very smoothly. So, I guess to end things off, the paints video, expect that up on Thursday. Um, I won't be able to probably talk to you guys much on Wednesday or be able to post a video then for the paints video. If I could, I would, um, but I have family matters that day, so I'm probably going to push back to Thursday. But expect the paints video on Thursday. Cobra and Amateur Series paints maybe like Saturday, Sunday. Um, I don't know. Those are just rough, rough estimates trying to get you guys a date to at least look forward to rather than just posting it randomly like I did with signups. Um, which I'll definitely change for next season. So, um, sorry about that, guys, if you guys missed signups just because you didn't realize it. But otherwise, I do want to say one last thing before I go. Um, you guys were amazing. Like, these signups were super simple, super, like, straightforward. And the Pencil Pro Series, I was able to just get finished right away. It was super easy. Like, everything kind of played out perfectly. You all pretty much obeyed exactly what I wanted you to do. Um, you fill out the templates right. I really did not have one problem here this this um, sign up year. So, um, you guys are just so amazing. Like I I did not think that it was gonna go that well, and we're done in two days as well. So, um, we're ready to hit the road and start painting. And um, I can't wait to get this series on the road. I think season four should be out in like three weeks, as long as I can start getting these paints going real quick. I am on summer break, so I do have a lot of time after Monday, which is my last day of summer classes. But, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's it for this update video. I'll make sure to keep in contact with you guys. If I have any more things I want to tell you guys, I'll be sure to post another video, or I'll just tell you guys in the paint video. So that's all for now. Um, this is the ASCA League channel, signing off. Bye-bye.